Hey, what's up guys? We're going to show you how to transfer all your information from your phone, like a Note 9 or a Note 8, something like that, to a external hard drive, uh, 4 terabyte. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to plug in your hard drive to your laptop or computer, USB. Then this other USB is going to go to the phone. Okay, now let's check out how this works. Open up uh, your computer. There is my Note 9, and here is the um, 4 terabyte drive. Okay, now I already um, went ahead and actually opened up um, and made a new folder. Okay, it's called Note 9. Name it something you want to name. Open that. We're going to go back down to the start. And we're going to open up, um, you can do it any number of ways. I'm going to go back to uh, my computer. going to open up um, the Note 9. Okay. I can see that I have um, almost um, 300 gigs on the card. And I got um, 500 on the, uh, or let's see here. Yeah, 500. Um, I got uh, almost half of the phone um, set up. So you have to, you can't just take all this and drag it here. It won't actually let you. Okay. What you have to do is open this. All right. Then you're opening your uh, SD card. Now I want to take everything on here because everything is very important. So take all that. You're going to highlight it. Simply click on it, hold it, and drag it over and uh, dump that there. Now it's going to open a screen. It's going to say uh, calculating, uh, copying calculating the time required to copy files. Now this might take a little bit of time because this computer is a little bit slower um, and it's got to calculate what's in the phone, what folders to grab, and then it's going to put all those on my G drive. Uh, it's actually four terabyte. Um, so it's actually reading all these files on this and all the files on the phone that I'm on right now, the Note 9. All right. So you can actually go ahead and take that and you can work around it where I'm going to go back to the uh, Note 9. Oh, this one's a little bit slower, but in general, you can go back um, to the Note 9 and select my, select my phone, okay? And you can go in there and do the same thing. Highlight the actual boxes that you need. Um, just highlight the ones you want, and you can drag those also over. Now, this computer is literally, uh, this laptop is uh, old, old, old um, HP. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of time before this thing kicks over. Ah, they were starting to go now. So let's see what it says here. It's starting to work now. So we can go back. I'm going to show you. There we go. Go and go back. Going to open that up. Uh, see, these older computers are a little finicky. It's currently busy is what it says. But it should open these. Yeah, it's a little bit slower. No big deal. But in general, you're going to do the same thing. All right. So once this is done processing, um, you know, my 500 gigs to be transferred, then um, I'm going to do the um, internal of the phone. So I'm doing the SD card right now. And then I'm going to do what's on the phone. Then I'm going to go ahead and clear the, um, the device. I'm going to format the card again and freshen everything up. Um, actually going to do, I think... A factory reset because um, it keeps the phone fresh and running really fast. I reset the phone literally probably um, I don't know once a month. Plus we do the uh, cache partition uh, cleaning on the phone. Any problems you have on a phone, if you do a cache partition uh, clean, a wipe, that usually solves a lot of problems. If your phone is hanging up at all, the Note 9 doesn't do that, but the Note 8 did a little bit, but um, and a lot of other phones do it. If you have a hang up and uh, something's going on, most likely it's your text messages that has too many multimedia um, and, and um, videos or text pictures, whatever, um, in the memory in a text application that has to be uh, cleared. Okay, just because the phone has um, 500 gigs plus the video plus the SD card that might be another 500 gigs, um, that does not matter because each program is allocated a certain amount of space to operate and a certain amount of space uh, for that program to keep data. If the if the program only uh, utilizes um, 500 megabytes, let's say, 
then if you get close to 500 megabytes, then the program acts funny and hangs up the phone. It'll hang the operations up on the phone. Um, and there's really nothing you can do about it. And um, the most important thing to know is you, especially in flash memory, hard drives, um, everything, and flash are the same thing. When it comes to this, this um, theory here is you want to be no higher than um, 80 percent full you got to have headroom for the phone to operate with another 20 percent free minimum to operate and function properly if you get to like 90 percent the phone is going to have major problems uh even computers doesn't matter what device or uh, piece of equipment it is you always want more than 20 percent of headroom so when you get a device and you want to know why should I get the extra space on the phone and like an iPhone? Why do I want to go for the, you know, the, why should I go for the, let's say, you know, 200 gig compared to the 500 gig? Well, there's a really good reason for it. Okay. Not just you have more space, the phone will operate a hell of a lot better. Like the Note 9, why would you get one with have four gigs or, or six gig of RAM when you get one that has eight gig of RAM and more storage? Well, the phone is going to operate a hell of a lot better because the Android actually uses a lot of space uh, in general. If you see your RAM, um, what's being utilized all the time on a con t continuous basis, it's most likely going to be like 60%. Okay, so if you're at 6 gigs at like 60% or 70%, then you're running out of memory. If you had 8 gigs and it's at 60 or 70%, then you got you know memory left. The phone is going to operate a hell of a lot better. Um, and every application will run a lot better if you have more headroom. So in theory, I like to keep mine, like I said, 20% free. Okay. Simple information. I hope that helped you guys out. It's really easy to do. Um, I actually modified the light in this, um, G drive. It came with a white light and we put in a, a blue LED. All right. Y'all have a good one. This looks like it's going to take about, you know, probably... Um, an hour, let's say, because it's actually got a lot, a lot of video on there from, um, clients and, um, and stuff like that. So, all right. Hope that helps you guys out. Have a great one.